Today, let's talk a little bit about lighting technology and the facts involved. We are, of course, fully immersed in LED technology. We spent many years in research and development and are proud of our achievements in this field. We've made huge progress and offer good versatility. But some other known technologies are still valid for some tasks, halogen is still valid for its smooth and full spectrum and its emotional and psychological values. Today, though, let's explore values and limitations of discharge lights. Metal halide, in our profession often referred to as HMI, which is an Osram brand name for this version. There are new and special virtues of our metal halide lamps and the exceptional advantages of our optical design in our focusing lights. Number one, the color. The color of metal halide is supposed to resemble daylight. Originally characterized by a very spiky spectrum, where each of its rare earth ingredients provided a relatively narrow spectral contribution. Mercury was providing blue-green light, as well as major content of ultraviolet. Thallium provides the green part, other elements contribute other spectral components. This originally very spiky spectrum also had noticeable gaps and valleys. Now, we can compare this to the full continuous spectrum of natural daylight and or halogen. In those days, we had to learn to live with these deficiencies and limitations and even some of the inherent dangers. Today, my metal halide lamps provide an amazing smoothness of spectral mix, stability of color and temperature over the entire lifetime. Extremely low deviations from the Planck curve, called delta UV, also maintained over the entire lifetime. Stable CRI values even of expanded CRI with 15 colors considered between 96 and 97. TLCI values between 97 and 99. Of course, looking at the new perfect spectral distribution, we think mainly of human talent and skin tone rendition. Here's though an additional example. The Japanese automotive manufacturer Mazda wants to present their signature color, that's red. For many LEDs, as well as discharge light sources, red, the R9 in spectral analysis, has been difficult and often lacking. Sometimes also blue R12 is not fully represented. The chief DOP and photographer of Mazda uses exclusively more than 20 Datalite DLH400 for his red car images. He claims that he has evaluated many other options and found our metal halide solution as the only satisfying one. Again, red often is the weak point in LED, sometimes also R12, the blue. Many years ago, we already built for BMW in 2007 a kind of Christmas tree from our lights. Five lights on a rolling trolley and this contraption is used at BMW for the evaluation of the quality and color of the paint used on their vehicles, especially their so-called xeralic paints. The inspectors at work at BMW felt that this light equaled a medium daylight color with an absence of disturbing color spikes, 
they turned down any inspection with halogen because it was for them too warm. And they found that this changed the impression and perception of the color too much towards yellow. Now, number two, the danger potential. Discharge lamps, especially metal halide, usually emit a huge amount of ultraviolet. The short wave ultraviolet, UVC, can cause skin cancer and is also very damaging to the lenses in our eyes. Now we've done a lot of research based on our involvement in museum lighting where ultraviolet has detrimental influence on the lifetime of watercolors, photographs, as well as textile and organic matter. So we developed a very special filter, a technology which we apply to our lenses. It lasts forever and it brings our ultraviolet values down to the lowest in any kind of professional lighting instrument. Typical professional metal halide focusing lights usually have an ultraviolet content 20 times higher than we have with ours. This is like a high wire act with several nets. The most important one is our filter technology. Cutting ultraviolet at 405 nanometer with a steep flank. There are also ultraviolet reducing glasses, for example, one that's called Duran. And there are other ultraviolet filters known in our profession, but all they do usually is to lower the ultraviolet to some extent, whilst we practically eliminate ultraviolet content. Our second lens is made from Duran, which also lowers ultraviolet. Many metal halide lamps are so-called UV stop lamps. And this kind of glass envelope of the lamp can also lower the UV content to some extent. But with our perfect UV filter deposited on the front of our lens, the secondary features do not enhance our lowest UV performance any further. They could also be seen as an additional safety net when somebody works our light with a removed front lens. At the same time, when we again consider LED, it seems to be typical for all LED light sources that there is a blue peak. Now, we often talk about the danger to the human eye caused by the blue peak of LED lights. If you're interested, I prepared a major presentation for a Munich Press Club on the subject and we can send you the link for the minutes which go pretty deeply into the various aspects of LED light danger for human health and especially the eyes. Number three, the optics of our metal halide light fixtures here we employ a unique double lens system which allows for unprecedented and unparalleled focusing range. We know that traditional studio lights, Fresnels, if they're small, they have a focus range of 1 to 3. Larger ones can have a range of 1 to 6. Our metal halide provides 1 to 20. Also, we were the very first ones to employ non-spherical optical elements, while traditional Fresnels are typically spherical lenses, providing a hotter center in the lid area. With our non-spherical dual lens system, we offer a perfectly smooth light distribution, edge to edge. Much more difficult was that the typical metal halide light in the flood position would provide a bluish rim on the outer edge of the lit area. And I was told by several famous optical professors that it would not be possible 
to design any optics to correct the color distribution within the emitted light. True, it wasn't easy. It took us three years, but we succeeded. And with our optics, we can not only have perfectly even light distribution, but also perfectly smooth color distribution, edge to edge. For these optical qualities, we were recognized twice by the Oscar Committee of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and were also presented with an Emmy and other prizes. The culmination in the quality of this light is to be seen in the new practically perfect color of the light sources, the lowest ultraviolet content in our profession as well as the clean beam concept which is unique and typical for our non-spherical dual lens system. These achievements in optics allowed us to add non-spherical wide-angle attachments, which also provide perfectly even light distribution edge to edge for the widest angle and still allow focusing. We also have high-class images projection attachments with projection lenses and optics that rival the quality of the best lenses on professional cameras. And now we provide the new seeming miracle. We add the parallel beam intensifier, which in an unbelievable, miraculous way adds to the intensity we do not change the exit angle of the spot position much, but with a parallel beam intensifier, we multiply the output by an extra 500%. This opens the gate to the world of reflected light systems, data light light stream. These outstanding properties do not only rely on our unique optical design, but with our metal halide system also based on the fact that the light source is extremely small. The arc gap between the electrodes is only six millimeters, whilst high power LED light sources have a much larger footprint. All in all, these are some particular advantages in the properties of metal halide lights on the other hand, for mobile teams working in different locations, our LED bicolor lights also offer distinct advantages for this kind of operation. I'm Dado. <laughs> <laughs>